morning guys so I'm about to do my workout here um, you guys know my guest left yesterday or now you know <laughs> she left yesterday so I uh, will have my routine back to myself again and I'm gonna be um, just on the same track I was on before she came over so um, I'll be back to nutritarian foods and all that I am doing the challenge by the way um, gonna start that in a few days I think I told you yesterday that I have a bunch of groceries that I have to use first that I thought we were going to use over the weekend but we didn't end up using so I've got to get through those groceries first and then I'll start the last 10 days of Dr. Furman's 10 and 20 challenge you guys there's a link for that down below if you want to follow along, along with me just um, buy the detox program yourself and I'm going to be doing the last 10 days I'm probably going to start I think um, the end of this week maybe Thursday Friday or maybe a little bit later just because I have to get through those groceries first so I'll let you guys know when I'm going to start you don't have to start with me exactly on the same day in fact it wouldn't make sense because you have to see the videos like I'll be putting up the videos for each day the next day and some of them I upload at like 10 p.m. or whatever so you might even miss the day that you're on if you start with me at the same time so I would probably wait a couple days until after I start um, if it's too late for you before Christmas I understand or something you know you you want to wait until later that's fine you can do the challenge at any time but I'm going to do the last 10 days since I screwed up those last 10 days when I did the challenge before so um, so it went well with my guests we had a lot of fun of course we didn't eat that great we didn't do the healthy most healthiest things but we had a good time together and I'm excited to be um, getting back on track right now and I wanted to update you guys about um, <clears throat> something I'm doing on my YouTube channel that's going to be a little bit different. So I was considering, because I'm getting to this point right now where I, I just have too much work to do with my sort of real job, which is as an internet marketing consultant. Um, it's a lot of work and it, it's difficult for me to sort of keep up with what I want with my goals for the watering mouth. And I have big goals for what I'm doing here with you guys. Um, but I need to be able to have a little bit more time. It, we've talked about this before about the type of um, the time and energy that it takes for me to do one of my recipe videos um, I feel that they're great quality and they're um, they're good but they take too much time for me right now and, and they're not a priority I don't think they give as much to me as I as I give to them <laughs> right now um, so on my YouTube channel I say that I do a vlog every day and a recipe every week well I'm still gonna be doing recipes every week but I'm gonna be doing in blog in vlog format because I don't have the time to do all the professional photography and editing and all the kind of stuff that I do with my regular recipe videos so um, I don't think you guys will miss out on anything because what I'm gonna be doing instead is I'm gonna be doing them on the vlog so like a couple weeks ago I put up my kale salad recipe I just showed you guys my oatmeal recipe I showed you a new salad dressing so it's not like um, I'm not doing recipes I'm doing a lot of them actually I'm doing more than I <laughs> you know I even say I will but as far as the real professionally produced ones with you know hair and makeup and all that crap um, <laughs> I'm gonna be pulling off on those for a little bit um, just because of the time constraints and trying to find more creative ways to get the content to you because the vlogs are fairly simple for me to do because I just you know talk to the camera I don't worry about makeup or hair or any of that I just sort of go with whatever I've got going on at the moment um, but that's the way I'm going to be able to deliver recipes to you as well at the same time as um, being able to create other content which to me it's it's really important to me for me to actually make money at this and for this to turn into something that um, that I can support myself with at some point so that being said I've been talking about this for a long time creating products for you guys like challenges and um, boot camps and recipe uh, challenges and things like that and I really want to create that stuff it's just I I'm always drowning in the the free stuff that I give to you guys all the time the the daily vid the vlogs the recipes all that kind of stuff and I just don't have time to actually create something for you to be able to support me with so um, I just wanted to let you know kind of where I'm at what I'm gonna be doing so I'll continue to do these vlogs the way I do them um, and I'm going to keep giving the little nutritarian nuggets because I feel like that gives a ton of value right now and I hadn't thought about that before so I think it's a, a cool thing to have and for us to keep discussing and I'll be doing um, you know 
the way that I did the oatmeal one the other day and the kale salad before where I'm just showing you real time I'm making a salad for myself for lunch and I'm going to show you how I make it today I'm going to be doing a lot of those so you guys can see it um, as I cook and I'll give you I'll try to give you measurements and stuff as well so you know um, so it's kind of just a real recipe thing so I want to let you guys know about a little shift I'm going to be making um, I'm not sure how long I'll do this or how or when I'll resume the professional recipe videos they probably won't ever be the way I did them before exactly with all the effort that I put in um, but I will have you know something in the future coming up at least um, I have this new iPhone the iPhone 7 which has a really nice camera so I can still take really good photos of stuff but um, as far as putting the amount of work into the recipes that I did before it just is not um, doesn't make sense for me at this time so I want to let you guys know about that and that I'll be starting the challenge up um, very soon so get ready you guys <laughs> um, and yeah that's it if you have any suggestions for me uh, about anything as far as you know uh, what I do or what I could do better or what you would like to see from me let me know down in the comments I'd love to know more about um, what you guys want or ideas that you have about how I can spread my brand a little bit further how can I get the word out about what I do um, stuff like that so any help is appreciated and I I thank you so much for always watching my videos and commenting and being on board with me. I mean, it really means a lot. And I'm so glad that you guys get stuff out of it. So let me know if you got any comments. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, exercise time. green tea and I've been doing these at the same time lately because the I keep the matcha warm and so I have some of this and then I have some of this and it keeps me a little bit warmer here when I'm freezing all the time if you want the chocolate peanut butter smoothie recipe it's in the description below this video all right I have to wait a little bit to go out to dinner with my friend I'm not very good at waiting to eat so it's only 5 30 now and I'm meeting at 7 30 so that's too long for me. I usually have dinner around four. So I'm having little snacky poos. I had a couple mushrooms. I do lately I've been trying to get in mushrooms every day when possible. And you only need one or two white button mushrooms to get the really good effects for your immunity. I had a couple of um, almonds, which you're not supposed to snack on almonds, but I made an exception today. And I'm gonna have a couple apples but I'm gonna dip them in almond butter like I usually do, so that's what I'm having now before my dinner. I always have a problem with going out to dinner with people later on in the evening and not screwing up beforehand. <laughs> it's a pattern of mine. All right, so we got the matzo curry, tofu, steamed tofu, some rice that comes with it, and the pad thai, the fried tofu. All right, here we go. This restaurant gives you little orange slices at the end of your meal. It's not perfect. Do you know how much that would help the obes obesity epidemic if they just gave some oranges at the end of meals? Wow. Perfect. Hello guys! Quick Nutritarian Nugget today, which is about the concept of caloric density. This comes from Eat to Live, Dr. Furman's book Eat to Live. This is my jacked up copy. It's been through floods and <laughs> it's personally signed it's got notes all through it um this is my first this is the book that changed my life um so i want to talk about this concept of caloric density meaning the foods that you eat how much um how many calories does it have per mass basically so like a nut for instance would have a lot more caloric density than some greens or a piece of steak would have a lot more caloric density than beans uh, that sort of thing. 
So this is the image that I want to show to you, which is a pretty pop, uh, <laughs> pretty popular image that's that floats around a lot. Let me try to just concentrate and focus. So you can see on this side here, this is 400 calories of oil, how much space it takes up in your stomach. That's not going to fill you up and make you feel fulfilled, but it's 400 calories. This here is 400 calories of chicken. Same thing. It's the same amount of calories, but it doesn't fill you up. And the one on the far side, 400 calories of spinach, eggplant, and beans. Fills up your entire stomach. Now this is just a, a graphical representation, but the concept is the same. Um, because this is on page 116 of Eat to Live. Link for this is down below. Because meats, dairy, and oils are so dense in calories, it's practically impossible for us to eat them without consuming an excess of calories. These calorie-rich foods can pile up a huge number of calories way before our stomachs are full and our hunger is satisfied. However, eating foods high in nutrients and fiber and lower in calories allows us to become satiated without consuming excess calories. And there's a little side note here that says, oh, sorry, I have a cat hair. <laughs> That's a regular occurrence in this house. Okay. When subjects eating foods low in caloric density, such as fruits and vegetables, were compared with those consuming foods richer in calories, those on meal plans with higher calorie concentrations were found to consume twice as many calories per day in order to satisfy, to satisfy their hunger. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to say about this. Just this idea that the more calories you take in, clearly the more weight you gain is how it works. But if you're eating foods that are filling your belly up, fiber, lots and lots of fiber and, and bulk actually, because lettuce takes up more space than the calories in, you know, um, steak or whatever it is. More bulk in your stomach makes you feel more full, makes you feel more satiated. You're not going to go and eat a whole other meal after you've finished your full nutritarian meal because you simply do not have the space. Versus eating, um, you know, some mashed potatoes and some um, chicken and a little bit of beans or something that are um, like green beans or something like that. Not really going to give you that bulk, that feeling of um, satiety that you get from a huge salad and a huge vegetable-based stir-fry kind of dish. So something to keep in mind when we're thinking about uh, what we're choosing to eat. Is it actually going to make us feel full or are we going to have to like resort to a bunch of tricks to feel full. Like, oh, let's watch TV or let's go for a walk or let's do something else. Why don't you just eat more and then you can feel fuller, but eat the right stuff full of fiber and your body will be happy and that's the end. Thanks guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow, bye.